on the sides of the walls here. So both got vision of each other. Yellow Star actually joining in on this one. And they want to try and force them away completely. That's a good bubble. And they're going to go towards Ivan. A lot of damage coming in. He will flash over the top. Cyanide has gone low. No name flash. Uh -oh. No way Saws expects a gank to be coming up here. But I feel like he's going to be able to avoid it. And what? it's going to give Dragon to Fnatic. Here we see Rumble coming out so often in so many teams. Only for that matter. Actually, Shawe Shaw in the mid lane. Beautiful dashes to get around a bubble to still come out. He is forced to flash on that one, so good. That kind of positional play. Fnatic actually going in, they're going for more. Ultimate coming out of Peke, but he's Cyanide that actually gets the kill. War Being gone, the lack of vision control led to that kill. What a catch on to No Name as well. That's the smite going down, so this is going to be an even easier dragon now. Gives them some nice edges. Controlling the dragon, controlling this gold lead will make it difficult for LMQ to go big. But so now they're in turn gank in the top lane. They're on down the wild growth, but it's only going to be to stay alive for a few more seconds. Who's going to pick up the kill? It's going to... So, we can still see No Name picking that up. What a stun. Beautiful job coming out of pack A. Almost getting caught up on that one, but it looks like they're able to keep it safe. There are some massive experience in this game, or it's just level six. Oh. Barely staying alive, great wind wall. Woman, they'll hold them off until Soaz takes the tower. And LQ is tired of dancing around, they're gonna go. Oh, the flash kick, but he doesn't connect or want to take the resonating strike. There's just too much space that would be closed in the gap and the team wouldn't be able to follow. They easily lock down onto Cyanide. If they are willing to peel away their AD carry for a side lane, but even that may be to the favor of LMQ. More how to come in here from Peke. More looks like he wants to create something here. Sonic Wave connects onto Yellow Star. He actually kicks back Cyanide after using that one. Cyanide's gonna have to throw down the Cataclysm to at least disengage with us. The team Ackerman coming in with his teleport. It's gonna stop and throw down the Equalizer. Peke is just cooking on it right now. The Harpoon misses. Vasily not high enough. Like they want to start going in. Oh, Peke stuck around to try and get rid of the wave, but Vasily flashing it in less than a minute's time. But no name is going very, very deep. So as and Reckless coming around the side. Slow is down. Flash away from the Cataclysm though. And they're going to try and turn this one around onto Cyanide, the title. Instead of all the way in, he's just too much of a focus. Oh, one shot. That one static crit. shiv hit with a crit. Beautifully done. They start locking in the artillery from Peke on Zareth's ultimate. Ever a lot of extra damage for Reckless team fights and with the red buff is more control oh, that is one hell you of a don't hook. want the ad carry being the one to get grabbed beautiful hit by more very low mana on yellow star the ultimate used on reckless with wild growth cyanide oh, oh no. no hits the baron on the way up control and then lq won't, won't try a hard force and also just faith in zara i think it's very hard to bear it against zara that isn't gonna last for long though. oh more coming into lmq right now and that is a hit up shawai shaw is gonna be getting the kill there three wow. go down. anyone stealing this one you saw yellow star just stepping out to get vision in but there's nobody else around there and the baron is gonna be going over to l at bottom lane in a turret may just be pushed down and fanatic after trying to defend that last time around more actually gonna flash in again the play up to Peke. there's the ultimate coming out he gets the kill. They died for Yellow Star, and it's a double kill for Shao. As he just farmed his way to the Guardian Angel, we saw how fearless he was in that engagement. Baron also keeping these guys strong. Mounds ahead of the game right now. Being to try and defend against this one, especially once that wind wall goes down, makes it hard to clear out those waves. Almost impossible. That turret, 75% damage, and nothing was given back from Fnatic. I wonder if LMQ will show patience here. They got two-thirds of the turret, but now Reckless is kind of here, so a fight would be able to be countered by Fnatic, but they're just going to straight up get the turret. We have seen the fights without Reckless in them. There's the, ult the ultimate coming in from Pake. Cyanide, however, dies as he tries to walk across the Equalizer. It was his only way out and in has not been something Fnatic can follow throughout this and forth so quickly, but they just have so much confidence, so much momentum, and Fnatic hasn't been able to put up a fight. And the confidence has not gotten LMQ into any bad spots. They're playing this strategically well as aggressive. It looks like they're starting to turn on a little bit more of the pressure. That's all inhibitors down. They just pretty much have to wait for the waves again. Cyanide, too far in. The team can't close that gap. Peke is almost walking straight up to the fight in range. There's one of the lockets down. Actually, both have been used now. The disengage is to come out. Pen, Reckless, clean this That's up. One. This could be interesting. Moore's going to go down. Gives Reckless the reset. He flashes over. Can't quite get onto No Name. The, uh, the slow's coming in. And that will stop Reckless really chasing. Or, of course, Fnatic sit back, defend the base, which you'll expect. And another Baron will go the way of LMQ. Yeah. A lot of target prioritization options for LMQ here. 
they will slowly push these inhibitors. Never mind. Oh, he doesn't play slow. Going up towards Reckless and early wild growth, but Xiao Wei Zhao right in the middle of them. There's a shutdown coming in, and instantly two men die. Three, four, only Sauer is left alive. He will flash back towards the Nexus, but that is going to be the game. A cheeky TP from Sauer onto his Nexus, so it will do nothing. And LMQ go 2 0 in the group. What a start! Absolutely incredible play, a switch in styles, and it doesn't seem to phase them one bit.